Hi! For this 21 draw drawing lesson, we're going to draw space kitties. We're going to use overlapping. We're going to use size. We're going to use texture. A lot of these 12 Renaissance words. Now let's get right into it. I'll show you a picture of what we're going to draw. Uh, this is a couple of inspirations. One, I did a single space kitty in my book, Half Hour Pencil Power. Just a, it's a wonderful book. I hope you add this to your collection of my drawing books in your library. This is a lesson number five. Look at this wonderful space kitty that we're going to draw right there. We're going to put that uh, horizon line. We'll put a little moonscape, but I'm going to draw instead of just one space kitty, I'm going to draw three space kitties. All right. So in this one, we're going to, here's my learning uh, lesson puppet to reference. We're going to draw the near kitty hot lower and these higher up. So let's jump right into it. And we'll start right here. Uh, I'm going to put a uh, little positioning dot. We're going to start with the one. All right. And this is what we're going to draw. So we're going to draw block in the first space kitty. Just they take that courage, courageous first step. Make that first mark. Draw one circle right here. And then a little bit higher up about right here, I'm going to draw the other uh, space kitty. I'm going to draw three space kitties having a fun day exploring on the moon. Okay. And space kitty. So I'm over here. Now this one's lower and these are going to be higher. See this? This one's lower and that's higher. This is lower and this is going to be higher. So I'm going to position this one a little bit higher. That's placement. That's one of those 12 Renaissance words of drawing. I'll put this one a little bit higher back here. Just blocking it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, give yourself the license to flop. Give yourself permission to make mistakes because you have to fail to succeed. You, you're not going to be able to learn anything without making those brave, courageous mistakes and just learning from them. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, I'm going to erase this, kind of clean up. I know that this one's going to be the, the near kitty. This one's going to be in front. And I'm going to could just shape it a little more, a little more uh, round there. So this one's lower, this is higher and further away. All right, I'm going to get that, uh, get that erased, kind of clean it up a little bit. I'm going to, I don't need my positioning template anymore. And we're ready to go. All right. So now we, this is, that was the toughest part is just to where are you going to position it? So we put the first space kitty. Here's placement lower and higher, further up. All right. So what I'm going to do right here is very lightly, I'm going to put kind of a, a guide point that the, the, uh, a target for where I'm going to put the, the, the cheeks, the jowls. I'm going to take my space kitty and I'm going to draw a big jowl right here. And we'll draw a big jowl right here. Okay, this will be Space Kitty's jowls. There's one, and there's another one. And then the eyes. Now I'm going to draw the near eye right here, and this eye. So I'm now I'm pushing hard. I'm I'm drawing dark with my pencil, and then I'll take my pencil and I'll block in where the nose is going to be. See this? Take my pencil and I'll block it in. It's kind of this fun little diamond. All right. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. It doesn't have to be perfect. Take your pencil, put that reflection in the eye. And the, ah, I'm so used to doing it in the eye, but this one's going to be in the nose. Make the nose shiny, right? Darken that in. Push hard with your pencil. All right. And then I'm going to, for for this space kitty, I'm going to give him his uh, eyebrows kind of drooping. I'm going to take this. I'm going to kind of droop it. This is contour, curving that. I'm going to curve the eyelids a little bit here. And then, so I'm going to draw his pupils tucked in. It looks a little sleepy, a little relaxed, chill, little reflections in the eye. And let's go ahead and darken in those pupils. So you see this, this reflection. We use that almost every drawing we draw if it has a character in it with eyes. I'll put little reflections. So I'll darken that in. All right. That looked wonderful. All right. So then over here, now I'm going to position where the ears are going to go. I'm going to draw the, the ear right here. It's like the letter A. And then I'll put the ear over here, like the letter A. You start here. Then I'll put the uh, overlapping foreshort near part of the ear. So I'll darken in this. And then I'll draw the, the near part of the ear right here. And then I'm going to start putting some texture. Now, I I always seem to forget the whiskers when I'm drawing cats. So I'm going to go ahead and draw these, draw the whiskers here. I'll put some whiskers coming in off the cat here. 
draw some whiskers here. You can put three or four, how, however many you want. I seem to always forget the whiskers, so I'm going to add those whiskers right away. And then right here, I'm going to put the, the cat fur. Take your pencil, and I'm going to draw this cat fur. Isn't that fun? Draw the cat fur coming around here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Texture, texture. Just as just like when we were drawing the other lessons using texture, right? The textured owl with the feathers or the tree, the textured leaves, the, the textured uh, wood grain on or the textured brick on the castle. That's looking cool, okay? Now you could, if you want, you could take this and you could draw space hamsters. In this book, you can draw in 30 seconds. Look what I did. On this one, if you look down at this illustration here on page 32, see what I did? It's the same idea of drawing the three textured characters, but I made them into space hamsters, all right? So you can take this, stretch your imagination, stretch your ideas, take this as a foundation, and just add more layers and layers of fun, as long as you're having fun. Okay, this is the process should be joyful and fun and creative. You're taking that creative risk. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Here, let's clean that up a little bit. Now, before I put the space shield, I'm going to put this space kitty right back behind here. See that? I want to put these. This one's back further away. So I'm going to take this one and I'll, and I'll draw his jowls. I'll start with one jowl here. And then take your pencil and I'm going to overlap. I'll put the other jowl back behind here. And then I'll draw his eyes. I'll draw the near eye. And this is this back eye is a little more foreshortened. See that? A little more foreshortened. That's squish and distort, right? And I'll draw the nose. All right, put that reflection. And let's darken this in. Isn't that cool? So darken that in. And you can have this kitty cat. He's looking back. Put that little reflection here. I'm going to take my eraser and I'll kind of clean that up a little bit. See, so this gel is larger, it gets smaller, it's overlapping this size larger, the back eye gets a little bit smaller. Okay, I always forget those whiskers, so let's draw those whiskers right away. Draw some whiskers coming out here. And then I love the, the ears. I'm going to draw this kitty cat's ears coming here. And you can see this little ear back here kind of peeking out. And using that, we're going to put shading to really define that. I'll put some fur. Put some fur around here and wait till we get the uh wait and now remember if i go too fast for you you can always push pause that's one of the fun things about this technology you can always push pause so there's the near kitty cat and you can put feet you can put tails i'm keeping mine really simple but you can put all kinds you can put glasses and you can put little bows in their hair this is lower and this is higher and and right away, even before I draw this one, I'm going to put a shadow. I'm going to have my sun. So here's my light. The light's coming from up here. The light's coming down from that. You can put your light any position, but I have mine right here coming from the top right. All right. And so on the ground down here, I'm going to, I'm going to, you can twist and turn your paper if you want. I want to put a little bit of a shadow. So take your pencil and let's put a shadow on the ground. I start, I do layer upon layer. See this? I'll put this shadow that'll it'll anchor, it acts like an anchor for your kitty cats. And then I'll go through and I'll put another layer, another layer, just make it, it's a nice anchor. It's like a ship's anchor in the ocean. It anchors your drawing to the ground instead of having it float off the ground. Now in our past lessons, like the whoosh cloud or the uh, parachuting penguin, I put a shadow under the character to make it look like it was in the sky, like it was floating. See, I just go through Add layer upon layer, darken it in, having fun. All right, I like how that shadow is really keeping those kitty cats on the ground. So we have the near one. It's larger. That size, remember the 12 words, size. Near things are larger, smaller. Again, overlapping. Another really important of the 12 Renaissance words. These words are 500 years. They've been around for five centuries. I didn't invent them. I'm just teaching what I learned from my a master art teacher who learned from their master art teacher back many generations. Overlapping in front, behind, further away. Now also the word placement. This is lower and it gets higher. So this is a great lesson. We're talking about many of these words. You can't draw in 3D without using several of these words here. Here, I'm going to draw this one. I'm going to draw this eye. See how that eye gets further away? 
And I'm going to have this guy looking forward. See that? See, this guy's looking forward right here. I'll go ahead and I'll draw that nose, put that reflection. Look, I forgot to put the reflection in the eyes, but that's all right. It's uh, turning away from you, so that's size. Let's put those, those whiskers. I love putting those whiskers right away so I won't forget. Let's go ahead and let's draw his uh, ears. I'm going to draw, draw this ear here. And this guy right here. There's that ear, and this ear is coming around here. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, do you ever make sound effects when you drive? I do that all the time. I drive my friends and my kids nuts. Meow, meow. Here, draw that little space kitty here. Put a few whiskers. 